What is up, YouTube? Gonna get here back at it with another trade rumor rebuild. And this one has been a huge trade rumor that I've seen on Twitter, that I've seen everywhere in the NBA world. But I'm back. I'm back. I might sound still a little bit sick, especially with my throat, because it, it wasn't good. It wasn't good, but we're back getting healthy. Not 100% healthy goon at the moment, as you could probably hear with my voice. But we're gonna get through this. We're gonna get through this keep going with these videos we're finally back i think it's been a week of me not uploading it is it is what it is hopefully a little bit more consistent and then super consistent once i'm 100 percent but we are here next gen goon in the building uh and with the major trade rumor that just might go through there's major trade rumors uh uh this one for chris paul there's one for russell westbrook that might be sent out wherever saying that russell westbrook isn't happy who knows who knows? But this one, super smart. Finally get uh, Devin Booker into the playoffs and stuff like that. You know they have... Uh, we're starting in the regular season instead of the offseason because I tried this with an offseason one. And it would make sense to start it with an offseason one. But for some reason, Chris Paul wasn't like on his contract. He like declined his offer or his, his option or something like that. And I was like, what? But he still has a year plus one. He doesn't have that option yet. But in, for some reason, starting in the offseason, I think it fast forwards to the other offs i don't even know but we're starting regular season still same thing as usual just on next gen that new uh bust or or, or boom or bust type thing we'll see if that has any effect on our players that we currently have on this team but let's get it ricky rubio for chris paul kelly Oubre jr was one of the big pieces that was going to be involved in this trade you know he's a young one that could average around 18 points who knows what he could do if he has a little bit even more of the offense but a super solid young piece for a rebuilding okc team we're giving him a first rounder we're giving him aaron baines just to match the players uh, but yeah ricky rubio kelly Oubre jr for chris paul and a first rounder who knows who knows what teams out there are offering for chris paul but i think this one is a decent one okc thunder have agreed to your trade offer and um uh, i'm liking sort of how it looks besides the menu that i still gotta really get used to because uh i'd be getting lost in here i was trying it out um when i got it yesterday just so i wouldn't be a complete noob and i was a complete noob i couldn't find many things like i put on trade override right there so i'm gonna go turn it off even though i don't think i needed it i think they said yes or did i override it see i don't even know i don't even know it was hard for me to find trade override for some reason but i believe it is where is it options right options tuning sliders which to me had me confused i was like why is it in there uh but like always i have rookie signing restriction off uh step in rule off so i can flip things contracts and i can flip uh overall picks you know like because you got step in rule off you can't flip consecutive picks where is trade override trade override off save settings uh no not save the entire settings just save the settings that i have now trade override off okay beautiful and now we look at our roster see like this i still got to get used to roster look oh my god i haven't even played this it's telling me how to play this is a roster where you can see details i understand i understand and here we are devin booker our best piece right now in 88 overall he went up to overall correct they gave him a little boost from an 86 in the last gen chris paul is at an 88 deandre in an 84 so the big three is here I don't know how this 2K likes to, you know, if there's a different type of uh, a CPU simulation type of deal. And by that, I mean like the the sim, the coding of the sim. What does it like? Is that can I do the same thing and add a bunch of depth to this team? Flip this team automatically right now. Um, but you know what? Go into the off season. We're going into the off season just like if we didn't have to do much here. Like we'll see what this team puts up. Actually. I want to at least make the playoffs and like secure the playoffs if we gave away our pick you know what i'm saying so i might just go flip these other pieces for something maybe one piece better another piece i don't know i don't know where do i go to coaching coach game plan yes i know what these things are you didn't really change that much it still looks okay what are we looking like cpu rebuild chris paul yo that looks kind of nice he looks kind of cool. Chris Paul, Devin Booker, Mikael Bridges, Dario Saris, DeAndre Ayton, Cam Johnson, Frank Kaminsky, Cameron Johnson, Jack Diallo, Javon Carter, 10-man rotation. Definitely going to switch that, Monty. My boy Monty, switch that to nine. Always switch it to play physical. Injuries should be. I got to check that. I got to check that. Where do I check that? <laughs> I think they should be off. Uh, options, settings, um, progression, attribute progression, no, general, 
position, gameplay. Um, um, see, this is where I'm lost. Injuries were on. Definitely gonna turn that off, and I think I'm gonna save my settings so I can just load them in here. Gameplay difficulty, Hall of Fame, if you guys want, just uh, you know, what I pretty much run with every single time. Um, that's always the same. Uh, off season time draft off. What? Oh, that's like you know automatic. If I want it automatic, okay, whatever. We'll leave that all off right now. Protect the player. We don't even need that. Team chemistry off. Progressive fatigue on. Rule changes. Any further rule changes removes the league meeting setting off. I think I already actually have these settings saved from yesterday. I just completely forgot about them. But I'll do them over again. And I'll override the save settings for myself. Uh, cost action. We're not doing actions. We're not doing uh, that my GM stuff. We're just doing regular my league if it was my league. But of course, it's called my NBA now. Actions auto simulate. Auto save after action. I think we're good there. Injuries off. And I think we're good. I think we are good there. All the stepping and rule stuff is off for trades, signings. Gonna, s I don't have it. Um, search by online. I'll just delete it. Yes. Yeah, so you should want to delete the settings. Yes, sir. And then I'll just save my new settings to my new files. Save my NBA settings, and we are good to go. Now we go ahead and see how this what what we could get. What we could get for this team? Trades, trade finder. What are we throwing in? What are we throwing in? What do we want to throw in? Devin Booker, Chris Paul, DeAndre Ayton, our big three that are staying. And then everybody else, I'm okay with trading. T TBH. TBH. We're going to need to sign somebody in free agency. Ooh, how much more do we need? How great are teams out here? Obviously, right now, they're going to look very similar to what we know the teams are right now. But after this offseason, after the NBA draft, things get real. Things get real. I'm going to see what I can get for Kaminsky. And we'll throw in the players that are technically not on contract, I think, like Dario Sarge. Ty Jerome as well. If we get like a cool bench piece that I could keep for multiple seasons. Because if we could try at least three. If Chris Paul gives me three without declining too much. And, and there's nothing out here. There's nothing out here to keep. Okay, we'll keep Saric. Saric and Kaminsky, 27 offers. Matisse, like always. Ersan, done. Uh, they're the same overall. Like I said, a decent bench piece that we could keep for multiple seasons. Ivica's always super freaking nice. If Okoji were to improve like he usually improves, especially since I'll have him on a rookie scale uh, restricted free agent, I'm, that might be a good value. At the end of it all, that might be a good value. We don't really care about keeping Frank Kaminsky. We don't care about keep bringing back Dario, even though Dario is a nice piece to have, um, especially stretch four alongside uh, DeAndre Ayton and Chris Paul. Frick, um, Zach Collins, Jordan Poole. I don't like any of these trades out here. I didn't expect too much. I think I'm just going to keep Ivica. The better bench pieces that I can get that will stay decent is what I want. Two and a half stars for them. I think we are giving up our power forward here. We could just run Bridges or Cam Johnson, I guess, there for now. And then we figure it out. We figure it out because right now, right now, Ivica. Right now, Ivica. I'm only, I'm only keeping Ivica because he signed to multiple seasons. And he'll be a decent bench piece. And I don't have to go sign a minimum contract player that's only like a 75 overall. You feel me? We keep hopping in trade finder highest paid player chris paul right now of course when did we oh we just got jamichael green in that trade right um cam johnson see these guys will be valuable once we actually need to make a huge trade for now we tr <laughs> nobody's gonna want anything man no one's gonna want ty jerome jamichael green they're not gonna give us anything of value kyle anderson that's two seasons Ew. Ew. but for now it might nemanja we always get, I feel like we always get Nemanja as well, if I'm being honest. If I'm being honest, it feels like we always get Nemanja. I could get Aaron Baines right back, but I don't know. Um, I don't, I, I'm going to bring in Kyle Anderson just because he's a little bit, you know, he's decent on defense. And uh, he'll be a contract I guess we could trade away later on in the offseason after this first season. Because I don't expect a championship, but I do expect the playoffs, hopefully. I mean, with a big three that we have, we should definitely be competitive for the playoffs. Not competitive for a championship right away, of course. I'm like, come on. Got to be realistic here. But um, this bench, this team that we have here. See, like, this is kind of decent. Omari Spellman might be able to improve, right? We could move him over to the... Ooh, I got to get used to where all this stuff is, too. Okay, so stretch five, archetype, position, center, power forward. Now that text is real small. The height, the weight. I kind of like it, though. It's clean. And then the background, it's clean. I like the artwork. 
I like the artwork. That's how easy I can be swayed. <laughs> I like the artwork. Um, but Omari might get... Uh, Juan and Gomez, Omari, Spellman. There's only three trades out here. Technically, they're better. I'm going to take this just so we have bigs. Just so we have an option of bigs. If our main guys, if our main guards have to play the most minutes, I don't care. Chris Paul, get, give him 40. Uh, same thing with Devin Booker, the young guy, the young gun. Give him 40. What are we even freaking looking like, coach game plan? Where is the proficiency? Coaching, system proficiency, it's all the same. Balanced, looks uh, like the best for now. Seven seconds. Okay, yeah, yeah, always seven. It looks like, yeah. A lot of the times when you got Chris Paul, when you got Devin Booker, who can't even play defense, DeAndre Ayton, I guess, could run, stretch the floor a bit. And we're running it small with Cam and Mikel. This is, okay, we got a lot of remaining minutes. Chris Paul, Devin Booker, Kyle Anderson. Oh, never mind. Okay, coach wants to run Juan Hernan Gomez. Uh, Juan Hernan Gomez and Kyle Anderson. DeAndre Ayton, Ivica, Mikel Bridges. That is, shores up our bench while starting, I guess, clearly our main guys in Chris Paul, Devin Booker, DeAndre Ayton. And I guess it covers up their kind of uh, deficient, deficient. Uh, what do you, what would be the word I'm looking for here? <laughs> you know, like their their struggles, their weaknesses. Our starters would be covering up their weaknesses. Hopefully, we'd start okay enough with these main three, big three, and then they come in and help. You would hope, right? You would hope we got four more minutes to give to my starters here, because especially DeAndre, and I don't know why he's only getting 30, whatever he was getting, 31. Give him 33. Um, year one, we check out the sim speed, simulate through date, simulate regular season. Uh, what the frick is this? Oh, this is prospect scouting, right? Yeah, this is prospect scouting. Hit triangle, always have CPU. Oh, this looks clean too. I kind of like it. I like the changes. Okay, decline trade. What is it? Garrett Temple tied? No, okay, yeah. Disable CPU trade offers. And we kind of winning. And we're kind of winning, and the simulation speed ain't bad. It ain't half bad. It's kind of still slow. Is there ways I could speed it up? Because that's kind of, uh, as long as it's consistent. As long as it's consistent, it stays like this even after, like, five seasons. I'll be happy. Is this really the power of what a big three with Chris Paul would be? Um, Where's our record on this page? There's no more record on this page, I guess. Okay, um, we finished with like 50-something wins. I'll show you guys in a little bit. But it looks like Luka Doncic continues to win MVP in every single 2K last gen. Last year, this gen, next gen, he's going to continue winning. Luka Doncic, there he is, 34, 9.8, and 9. Uh, good shooting numbers. I don't, know what I, I don't know if I like this screen. There's something weird. The, the sizing. The sizing is off. Like, Luka Doncic just being there, kind of like... I don't know. It throws it off for me. It throws it off. Dylan, of course, we still don't have rookies. Once the rookies come in, they'll do an update and we'll be good to go. Spencer Dinwiddie, sixth man. Defensive player Giannis. Christian Wood, most improved. Coach of the year, Brad Stevens. 63 wins. Okay. So at least we're not the best. There's still executive of the year out here. I guess I could probably turn that off. But uh, don't know who that is. Is that for us? Luka Doncic, Damian Lillard, LeBron James, uh, Giannis, Carl Anthony Towns. Okay. Okay. Um, Carl Anthony Towns kind of surprising being there, but you never know. He might just come out and absolutely destroy. And then is anybody from us? No Chris Paul on a defensive team. No Book Booker on an All NBA third team. Where's our record? I still can't see it. Damn. Okay. Um, don't think on all defensive team. Chris Paul, all defensive team. Okay. All right. As I say, ooh, this is vibrant. Why is uh Seth Curry in the background though? Is he always gonna be there? Is he the face of the NBA playoffs? What? What's the point? We're number one somehow at 58 and 24. How? I have no idea, but I'm, I'm, I still don't expect to win a championship year one. I don't like that stats and standings are all the way at the bottom, but I guess in the other 2K, you'd have to scroll all the way to the right. So it's the same thing technically, just vertical, right? That's the word I'm looking for. Vertical, playoff statistics, season stats, season stats, player stats, 34 7.2 assist we get it that is why you're on an all nba team and then he made an all defensive team with 20 points 8.5 assists 2.2 steals always a steal master stealing them cookies deandre 8 and 18 and 10 he could still he still he could still get a lot better he said an 86 to end the season instead of an 84 chris paul went down kind of expected kind of 
bummer but uh it looks like we got to win this season or next well not this season i don't think we're gonna win i'm gonna stay double double off the bench for evika cam johnson eight two and one point uh two assists per game so not that much same thing with omari very lackluster uh besides our big three and maybe evika everybody else pretty lackluster we don't there's nothing there's nothing much to expect there i want to look at the statistics season stats um team stats yes please 63 okay third best team i don't think so i mean maybe that's the power of chris paul devin booker and deandre ayton but i don't i don't get it i honestly do not get it we have what the fourth best offense the clippers are better defensively we are third best defense and our differential is the second best i mean maybe chris paul's defense and offense and then crazy production by devin booker simulate through game i mean not through game come on man simulate round simulate round the phoenix suns have been eliminated by an eighth seed uh the fourth seed beats the fifth seed okc lkc still out here who do they well who would they even have kelly Oubre. Just to see what these other teams still looking like. Rondo, Caruso, James, Anthony Davis, Dwight Howard, JaVale McGee, Kyle Kuzma, Danny Green. No changes. No changes. My throat is not okay. Lonzo, Drew Holiday, Brandon Ingram, Zion. Oh, Drew Holiday, another guy in um, a plethora. A plethora. They made moves. They got Harrison Barnes. JJ Reddick's still there. who they trade away? That's not a bad defender. Guy that could score a little bit. Guy that could play small ball for you guys. He could, but you could plug him in in a lot of positions. Anyways. We clearly lost. We are not the winner in year number. Who the? In eighth seed one. In my first ever next gen sim uh, of the first season. Of the first season, Nikola Vucevic 20. Advance. Okay. Um, um, LeBron. No. Vucevic, Gordon, Fournier, Fultz, Jeremy Lamb, Michael Carter, Jonathan Isaac, Mo Bamba, Mc, Doug McDermott. Doug McDermott. That was the key to their victory. Okay, I mean, as long as it, it it's bound to happen every once in a while, but as long as it doesn't happen too many times, um, and it becomes an issue where it ruins rebuilds, then we're good. My NBA association off season, first time I'm getting to see this. I'm guessing it's very, very similar, very much the same player retirements, Hall of Fame inductees. Yep, it looks like it. We will go sign the best staff. We will make sure. Oh, that's not bad. I forgot there was going to be updated coach settings, but we're going to look at the candidates. Uh, Steve Silas looking nice. Mike D'Antoni. We're going to get Mike D'Antoni. We're going to get Mike D'Antoni. Just come back to the Suns. It's just the, the proper thing to do. Available budget 5.61. Uh -huh. What did he want? We'll give him 5 milli. Oh, I totally forgot. In like GM modes, there's those little things plus minus things, but I guess I could turn those off, huh? Or do I leave them on? Would it add a little spice? Would it add a little spice to the My League uh, rebuilding since I do not want to do like the My GM type? We had the number one record in the Western Conference. How does that happen? I don't know. We add a super nice bench piece in Ricky Rubio and Larry Nett. Okay, we could get something out here. As long as it doesn't affect us bringing back our players, like, we should be good, right? We should be good. I don't think I could add another superstar. So that's why I want to just make the uh, these pretty deep team. Like, I wouldn't be mad at this with Ricky Rubio. I might even just trade him away. I don't want to give him two first-rounders, but those would be nice pieces to flip as well, like eventually flip, but we need to keep some of these picks. We need to keep some of these picks. We're going to go add a second-rounders and hope for the best. Hope for the absolute best here, and uh, I, we might have to throw one in. Connor Offer. Oh, they just want one. That, that's exactly what I wanted to do. You have read my mind. Larry Nance, a 79 and 80 overall, Ricky Rubio. And then we could add more first rounders to get better starters, better, better everything, better everything, starters, bench pieces, whatever we freaking need. He accepts his player option. Of course he would. He is making a lot of money. We accept DeAndre Ayton's, Mikael Bridges, Cam Johnson, Omari Spellman. Yes. All the young guns back to my team and I can trade them. I can flip them. I have no loyalty to any of them besides my big three. Going to, oh my gosh, Kevin Porter, dude. We need a small forward. <laughs> I guess we do. Uh, we would have backups as well, but damn. I can't do that every rebuild. Clint Capella, uh, always OP. Miles Bridges, I guess, could be a little something different that I do, but he's still, hmm. 
as long as he got with, hit with the boom and not the bust, that could be interesting. Nikhil Alexander Walker always nice, at least in last gen. Depends how how they got him set up here. Troy Brown. I might just take Kevin. I'm just gonna take Kevin. He's a 78 overall. He's probably gonna improve over to an 80. It just makes too much sense, guys. It just makes too much sense for me personally. He might be completely different in next gen. He just might be completely different. That leaves uh either Macau Bridges or Cameron Johnson that I can trade away. That leaves uh like I was saying, power forward, small forward. I could trade one of these guys. Do we wait till they improve and then trade them in during the season? That might be the move, right? During the season, Ivica might even anybody, anybody, it's nobody safe. I'm trading Larry Nance because I don't like his production any in any 2K that I've had. And uh we'll throw in Mikael Bridges or Cam Johnson. I don't know. We'll throw in Cam for now. We'll throw in Cam for now. Like I said, no loyalty here. No loyalty here. Brooke Lopez always declines and ends up sucking. Robert Williams would be a nice backup, but we have Ivica. There ain't no point. There's no point in that. Will Barton, what's the point? And no, I'd rather keep my 279 overall. There's nothing. I mean, uh, get him, switch him to a small forward, trade him. That could be the move. We might be able to get a star actually off Robert, 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 Robert Roberto. But is it? <laughs> I don't know if it's enough to get some type of star, bro. We're doing it. We're doing it just because. Just because I'm crazy um we'll go to roster and then do i just click the same thing quick edit yes sir quick edit robert covington goes up to an 83 not an 80 i think it was an 84 before no trades trade finder robert covington that pick that they just gave us and we'll see what i mean two play brandon clark as a power forward i would love that i would actually re yeah that looks like the best one out here brandon clark would be super beautiful i hope they fixed him up a little bit and he could shoot some freaking threes now did he shoot through ah uh, 2k please fix him bro you completely ruined his three point i'm still gonna bring him i don't even need him to shoot i could go fix him and i know uh, you guys you guys are probably telling me in the comments like dude just go up and turn his tendencies up <laughs> i know i just don't like messing with it Two decent players, Omari, Alfonso, McKinney, add a first rounder. We have a Sons of Grizzlies, everything. If this gives me one bench piece back, I'll be happy. I kind of want to take it. I kind of want to take it just to have an awesome backup bench piece. Why do they want to give me Clint? How do I even have the cap space? I guess I do have a lot of cheap players. The two main guys, Chris Paul and Devin Booker. Everybody else is on a really cheap contract, aren't they? 12 million is my next guy up and then 2 million he's making 2 million okay yeah i kind of it makes sense i guess it makes sense i guess um i'm gonna take clint i'm gonna take clint off my bench omari i don't know how good he's gonna get he might be valuable you know he might boom or something um i'm taking clint i'm taking clint add the exception oh we have a uh, uh trade exception okay i guess that helps that helps them um trade trade finder and now i trade evika we don't need evika we could use a backup uh, point guard, I think. We have a backup small forward. We have a backup. Uh, what else do we have a backup in, to be honest? We could use guards. We could use guards, picks, not really. Um, Anything cool out here? Jamie Lamb, I don't know if he gets worse. He's a 78. He's 29. Terrence Ross is 30. Uh, what do I bring into the team? Is Miles Bridges another guy that I used to get? I know it's a guy that I do end up like uh getting what the heck did i just say i know it's a guy that i do end up uh getting and liking because he produces off the bench for me at least the times that i've had him i think you have to wait just a, a year or two but i mean we already went through a year so that's one year hopefully miles bridges yes you might think too many small forwards on my team but they play multiple positions small forward power forward they could both go in there we wouldn't need a power forward backup so now we have Small forward, power forward, two guys off my bench. We have a Clint Capella off my bench. That's three guys. I just need one guy. I could probably go give the mid-level exception to, and we should be good. And we could, uh, wait, okay, wait. This is the guys we could afford. I'm going to give one to Monty Morris. Another guy that I do like getting. Like, what? Okay. We have money. We have 8.9 million that we can give away. Give Monty 8.9 million and Isaiah Thomas, Chris Dunn, Reggie Jackson. Yeah, that's probably the, one of the best guys. Maybe uh, maybe Dunn. Why do I call him Dunn, bro? Kendrick Nunn. In my brain, I just go to Chris Dunn. 
Because K, none, K, done. I don't know. I don't know. That's just the way my brain works for some reason. But uh, I think that's the best one. Of course, we run out of options. We have Trey Burke. But I think we should be good. Monty Morris coming back to the... I mean, not coming back. Coming to the team. And we're good. Trade exception for Ivica. Don't need that trade exception. And Monty Morris is going to be my ninth man. And I honestly am really, really happy with my team. Um, Player progression. We'll see if any of that boomer bust stuff happens here. Pay attention to it really quickly. Restricted free agent Juan Ana Gomez accepts the qualifying offer. I really didn't even care. He goes down four. Oh, that hurts. But he goes up four, so it cancels out, right? That's uh, mathematics. And 90 overall Devin Booker. 90 overall Devin Booker. 88 overall DeAndre Ayton cancels out that uh, the decline from Chris Paul. Brandon Clark goes up three to an 83. Capella up one. Bridges up to an 80. Porter Jr. up to a 79. Why does he look like that? Uh, looks a little creepy to me, but I guess we'll take it. Mikel Bridges a 78 only. Monty is 78. Juan and Gomez is a 76. Overall, all improvements besides Chris Paul, which was expected. And that's why I also traded for some of these guys. So they're young, on cheap contracts, auto-generate rookies. We will not do that quite yet. And now we check if we, uh, if I'm liking this team. If I'm liking this team, we got a new coach. We got a new trainer. Hopefully, uh, you know, I gave him some training camps, but it's not going to do much in one season. CPU rebuild. What does he got? 28 minutes for Chris Paul. Devin Booker. Okay. Uh, Mika I was going to say Macau, but we got another Bridges. Miles Bridges. Brandon Clark. DeAndre Ayton. An 88. He's going to be a monster this season. An absolute monster. Capella off the bench as well is going to just, you know, he, he doesn't produce in one game. Capella's coming to produce. Kevin Porter off the bench, it looks like, which I'm fine with because he's a monster. Macau Bridges off the bench and Monty Morris. Uh, we're definitely running a nine, man. We got ourselves with Mike D'Antoni. We're going to go ahead, play physical defense like we always do. And uh, we take over the league for, for real this time. Not pretenders. How we finished that high last season, I don't know. It just says, I mean, it's written like that for me, I guess. Um, be the best in the season and then get knocked out in the first round. There's so many times that's happened to me, but... Kevin Porter Jr. here. Uh, who do I give more minutes off my bench? I kind of want to give less minutes off my bench, if I'm being honest. Give 34 to DeAndre Ayton. We'll give Devin Book a 36. And then a lot more to my my captain. My captain, Chris Paul. 28 there. Um, 30 there. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with the squad, too, man. The fact that we finished so well last season and now I technically have improved the team. A nice bench, better starters, besides Chris Paul declining. We should be good. And seven seconds goes up to four stars and a half. Damn. I mean, season two, championship season, trade rumor, Chris Paul to the... Uh, dude, when I saw this one, I was kind of, I was happy. I was happy not with just one for Devin Booker. And two, I mean, I don't know if it's a championship squad, but it seems fun. It seems like a fun team. Simulate regular season. I'll see you guys at the end of season number two. We, like I said, we finished great last season. Can we, uh, you know, build upon that and actually do something in the playoffs? Because that was atrocious, but we're good. Once again, we're elite. Last gen, next gen, whatever gen. We still elite out here, baby. We're still elite out here, baby. Trey Young almost scores 40 with 12 assists. 52% from the field, 90 from the free throw line, 44 but damn, 45, just say 45 from the three-point line. 45 from the three-point. NBA players don't shoot that from the field. And he's doing it from the three-point line. Stuart Tavares is the rookie of the year. Sixth man goes to Spencer Dinwiddie. Jonathan Isaac, defensive player. Yep. Looks most improved player goes to Morant. I don't know if we saw it a lot, but I mean, it's well-deserved. Look at that. Look at those goddamn numbers. Coach of the year, 69 and 13. 69 and 13 ladies and gentlemen jesse bryant that, that, that's our guy that's me that's technically me right there executive of the year yes sir give me all the trophies stephen curry kyrie irving demanda sabonis where's where's us where are we at chris paul still makes an all defensive second team no devin booker no i was gonna say chris paul we just saw chris paul no deandre ayton is what i meant um you would expect deandre Especially, you know, he would, uh, he, he'd improve, he improved quite a bit from an 84 to an 88. That's boom. That's boom numbers right there. But where would we go? See, I still, I'm lost. I'm, I'm technically lost right here. Stats and standings. Season stats. 
let's go to team stats really quickly since we would usually check that first so 69 we're 10 games ahead of the celtics oh my goodness the second best team is 53 in our conference one at 26 points per game is what we average ladies and gentlemen the number one in the entire team uh, last gen the hawks would beat me a lot in that but this season we are points against points against number one defense number one defense we're winning games by 20 points i don't even think this team's that ridiculous i'm gonna keep it real with y'all i don't think we're that crazy but we're that crazy 30 for devin booker six assists 19 for deandre Ayton with 13 rebounds a block and a half brandon clark's getting 16 and 8 a perfect guy for us where's chris paul 13 and 7 what happened to chris paul we gotta win now yeah we gotta win now that's kind of scary that's kind of sketch miles bridges though off the bench off the bench you're starting who was my starting small forward again was he starting at the end of it i don't even remember i think he was i think he was starting 13 for him and i think off the bench was kevin porter kevin porter 2.5 assist uh one steal uh capella Double double off my bench. Monty Morris, six and three. Ma Ma Mikhail was the guy off my bench. Yeah, those are definitely off the bench numbers, but I don't think this team is that ridiculous. I guess they all are close to 80s off the bench. And then he's up to a 90. He's up to a 91. Brandon Clark's up to an 84, 82, 84. Chris Paul. This time he doesn't decline. Uh, I'm still kind of creeped out by Kevin Porter, though. Don't know how I'm feeling about the sim speed. Uh, Y'all got to let me know, too. Like, I'm sure you'll be wa you'll be watching other rebuilders um, out here. Um, uh, Have they been complaining about it? Have they been complaining about it or not? I don't know. But we're up against Golden State as our first opponents. Wiggins, Pascal, Kelly Olynyk, Lawrence Pierce, Draymond is a 78, Jordan Poole is a 70. They haven't changed anything at all. Um... A seed for a reason. A seed for a reason. Simulate round. I was about to go simulate game, but oh, they changed that. We've got simulate game now that we could click. Beautiful. But instead of going to simulate with SimCast or play game, then backing out, then playing the game, that was annoying. That was annoying. We're up against the clips, the clip clips. Evan Dawkins, no idea. Alec Burks. Well, their team is gutted. They got Christian Wood. That's kind of nice. Um, their benches, I mean, they got decent players around Kawhi Leonard. Just, I don't think they, they have that second star, I guess you would say. I don't see that second star alongside him. I still think we have this consi- Crap. I'm gonna do that a lot. I'm gonna do that a lot because that button wasn't there before. <laughs> that button wasn't there before. I clicked it on accident, okay? Uh, Phoenix Suns, New Orleans, this one. Ooh, I like how it glows. Did I not notice that last year? I probably didn't because we weren't even, we didn't make it this far. Patty Mills, gross, but he healed, beautiful, actually, a shooter like that alongside scores like them. I did it again. I did it again, and I'm going to continue to do it, but we're good. 4-1, 4-0, against the Heat, not my nemesis, the Boston Celtics. Dragic, Tyler Heroes, an 85 in season two. Anthony Davis. Uh-oh, is this his new team that he's going to go to, that he's going to start going to? Favors, Kendrick, Nunn, KZ. Their bench is kind of... Uh, but Anthony Davis versus Bam. Anthony, I mean, versus Bam. Anthony Davis and Bam. With Jimmy Bucket still in 93 because they freaking boosted him up to whatever the heck he was. Oh, my. Um. Ah. Yes. That's all we needed. Frick, dudes. Dudes. It's time for our first simulate with SimCast in Next Gen 2K21. Ladies and gentlemen, simulate this game. We are at home. We technically have the better team, right? We're destroying them. Why do we go down 3-1? I hate when that happens. Uh-oh. Wait. Oh. 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 Whoa. 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 We're still good. 3-3. Three, 3-3. Three. Three, three. We were down 3-1. We just won two games like it was nothing. Like it was a nothing. And now we simulate the last game to win an NBA championship. To win an NBA championship. I'm not going to go in there and jump in and play because I haven't played a game yet. And I don't know. And I'm going to throw it. I'm going to choke it away. But we're not going to need to jump in. As you can tell, I am still not 100%. I'm out here choking. I'm out here. It, it, hurt. it hurts. So you guys might get a video every other day. Let my... Uh, <laughs> Let my throat heal a little bit. First rebuild of 2K21 next gen. Ladies and gentlemen, it is complete. Took me two seasons. First season with Chris Paul. We didn't do many changes like always. So we don't do too many, but I tried a little bit. 
just so uh, we could have a, a chance. Somehow we finish first that first season, then we finish 100% well deserved this season. DeAndre Ayton, we are back, ladies and gentlemen. It might be uh, uh, you know every other day for now until my throat. I'm not coughing every other second, but uh, Devin Booker, DeAndre Ayton, Chris Paul, Brandon Clark, Clint Capella, this team. I like it. They got to change Kevin Porter. Why does he look like that, man? Mikael Bridges, Monty Morris, uh, and then those guys don't even play. Those guys don't even play. There is my championship squad. The big three plus a bunch of 80s. It happened. It worked. I was in bed like sick as heck. So if you guys got more rebuilds, more uh, trade rumors that you guys have heard in the media because they're ramping up. A lot of the main things, the offseason's coming up here for, for 2K. I mean, not for 2K, for the NBA. God damn it. For the NBA in real life. NBA draft, free agency right after that. They can they can make trades uh, at that point as well, and then the new NBA season before the uh, before Christmas, before Christmas. Drop a like if you enjoyed this one though. Drop a comment down below like I said about other trade rumors because I am I've been out of it. I've been out of it for a week. Subscribe if you are new. But as always, guys, thanks for watching.